Hi everyone, welcome to Belinda and Benny's Knitting Cafe. He kept whining. So I guess we're doing this together. I have some Cafe Nomien to drink. I've been drinking it so it's not super full. But it's basically like Vietnamese coffee, but in Lao we call it Cafe Nomien. My aunt made it and it is delicious. I thought I would do a knitting vlog and share with you my Chinese New Year sweater what it looks like so far Benny you cannot eat it it is hi uh, I started it on Monday today is Saturday and New Year is in a week because I went back and forth on what I wanted to wear for New Year it's tradition to wear something new and red and so I've been looking for something new and red but I guess Red is not the color of the season, so it's been a challenge to find anything, and I thought I might as well just knit myself something new and red because I feel like I get the most wear out of my own knitwear, and I live in a place where it's winter for a very long time anyways, so I would get a lot of wear out of it, and yeah, so I went to my yarn local yarn store on Monday. I picked up this yarn. It is, you can't see it, it's so bright. Um, La Bien Aimee's Merino Aran in the color Eric Northman. It's 166 meters for 100 grams superwash merino yarn. And you can see it's like a nice red color. It's very bright here. I'm facing a window, so I feel like the color accuracy is not, you know, 100%. But it's very bright looking red here. And in real life, it's not so bright it's got some variation some darker colors and some lighter it's kind of got a pinkish i feel like tint to it you can kind of see it on on this part i don't know if you can see that um but the part where it was like tied up i don't know if you can see it it's it's kind of got a pinkish hue to it a magenta ish hue and i like it so far i wanted to pick a heavier weight yarn so that i could finish it in time for New Year, which is one week away, and I also wanted to film a bit more of the process, but I just like was not feeling like filming anything before, and then I ended up getting a cold sore anyways, and I thought, you know, part of it is just like sharing your thoughts as you go on the process, and then the other part is I want to kind of get more comfortable with sharing my no makeup natural Oops, sorry baby but no, no makeup my natural self and so here i am with no makeup it is a saturday i'm here with my puppy don't we match like this is my cardigan that i was working on the snow quality cardigan and i think i think maybe a shiniki one too that would be so cute right if we had a matching cardigan set on the future benny when you stop eating your own clothes uh so yeah i have been working on this i started i got the yarn on monday and i spent some time winding it up and knitting a swatch and my swatch ended up the gauge ended up being off from the pattern so the pattern i'm doing i don't know if i mentioned is sweater number month some sweater number nine by my favorite things knitwear and i went back and forth on what pattern i wanted to do because it just takes me forever to find a pattern that I want to do and I've been wanting to like try designing more so I like was thinking maybe I should just try designing or freehanding something similar and then I just ended up buying the pattern because with less than two weeks from the point that I bought the yarn till Chinese New Year I just didn't want the stress of trying to figure out a nice pattern that would fit me and would work with the yarn because there are also like kind of limited yarn options for the color red anyways it's been going well it's been six days i guess i so i wound the yarn on monday night and i knit my swatch and then tuesday i started the project and so i have a lot of progress on it it's like i have one sleeve done and i'm working on the second sleeve right now and the body i would say is like halfway done maybe a third of the way done uh because i prefer to do the sleeves first and then finish the body i feel like 
it helps in the game of yarn chicken because if you run out of yarn you can just make it a little more cropped and then then it's fine and uh, then I can avoid sleeve island because I'll have both my sleeves done yeah so uh that's how it is. I was gonna knit and chat with you, but I guess I'm gonna just chat because Benny is here and I don't think I can knit and chat with Benny here. What do you think, Benny? Can I knit at the same time? No, because you like to bite my yarn. Yeah, Benny likes to bite my yarn. Look at here. Aren't we cute together? <laughs> He's a complete distraction. Anyways, I'm very excited about Chinese New Year this year. I think I'll just kind of put in some clips of me knitting and chat with you well benny is here because he won't take a nap anyways i'm very excited because it's going to be on a weekend and so i thought i would invite some friends over to celebrate but because it's on a weekend a lot of my extended family will have their own will make their own offerings so we'll see how it goes but um it's probably my favorite holiday and I also want to say the reason why I have been referring to it as Chinese Chinese New Year is because I'm Chinese and so that's what I celebrate. I know that there has been a dialogue about calling it Lunar New Year and I do use both terms but I prefer to say Chinese New Year when I talk about my own personal celebrations and what my family does in our traditions because I'm Chinese and so that is the holiday that we celebrate. But then when I want to refer, you know, to the other people that celebrate and that's just like the day and the holiday as a whole, I'll say Lunar New Year because I think it is important to be able to capture like the nuance of Chinese New Year celebrations, like the specific things that we do because every uh, culture that celebrates it kind of does it differently. So like the Korean New Year, they have different traditions and like the Vietnamese New Year, they also have some different uh, traditions and some things are similar but some things are different so I think by like I would prefer to say Chinese New Year because those are the specific things that I celebrate and even that I think it's very different depending on family just like any holiday people celebrate personally celebrate it differently so my family does lunch and we usually like, get everything done beforehand and we do our offerings before noon and then we just get to eat yummy food and it'll be a Benny's first Chinese New Year so I gotta make something red for him if I have some leftover yarn I might make him a little bow that I can clip onto his collar I think that would be cute and we could be matching we could be matching puppy yeah would you like that no comment I think he would like it <laughs> I don't think he would like it I think he would try to like rip it off but but it's Chinese New Year and you have to wear red if you want to be a lucky puppy do you want to be a lucky puppy? Yeah, he does want to be a lucky puppy. He's already a lucky puppy because we're together, right? He's probably annoyed with me. I don't know. He likes being around me. Oh, look at that yawn. So, I lost my train of thought. We were talking about New Year celebrations. Um, so yeah, I'm excited this year. I We prepare like pretty well in advance. And I think also because the predominant culture in my household is Lao. Chinese New Year is one of the one of the occasions, well, occasions I have to kind of celebrate that that part of my identity. And I've struggled a lot with my Chinese identity and just being like mixed Chinese and Lao. So I think it's a very special day and a special holiday to me. Like I just. You know getting to embrace that side of myself that i don't get to celebrate much and just to be around family and to be able to uh, make offerings to our ancestors and to honor them and enjoy some food together i think this is a fun time benny's gonna have so much fun because people are gonna come and then they're gonna play with you are you just so excited no comment he doesn't really speak so I think he will be very excited to meet more people. Yeah, you will, huh? Yeah, you will. Uh, so I think it'll be fun. Um, and I think I don't. I don't think I'm, I'm. My worries about finishing this have eased because I think I can finish it honestly in a couple days, and I'll even have time to blog it because I thought, you know, 
I think it's possible to finish it in less than two weeks because I did my my oversized caramel sweater which was with like a DK weight yarn and I knitted a large I think I knitted like two sizes up and I was able to do that in like three weeks so this yarn that is I've been using a size 10 needle for the main part and I think I mentioned my gauge is off so I'm actually knitting a size medium with the intent of getting the dimensions of a size small so I'm knitting on size 10 because I I wanted to hold this yarn single versus pairing it with a mohair like the pattern says and honestly I realized that I almost never knit the yarn that's in the pattern just because I usually don't have access to it and I really prefer to see like my yarn in person there are some times where I'll buy it online um, from specific dyers that you know just they don't sell in person where I'm at and yeah so um, I wanted to just hold the merino sing single because I have been really into wearing my sweaters to bed on colder days and I just feel funny wearing a mohair sweater to sleep because I have um, pretty bad eczema so there's like me with like all this lotion and and stuff on and I feel like it would just stick to all my mohair fibers and then also I would just be like laying there breathing mohair fibers so I've been wearing my just my knit ones anyways so I thought like just holding it single would be nice and just having it to be just more plain and easy to wear and yeah I like it so far I really like the fabric that it's creating it's very plush I have been trying to knit more with non superwash yarn this is a superwash yarn and I don't mind it but I can definitely see the difference after having knit with a lot more like non superwash and more uh, surrey or mohair but it's nice it's very plush and I think it'll look nice after I block it too I did block my swatch and it wasn't like that much change in it and I think that I'll also like blocking will help get the dimensions that I'm going for but because I'm knitting a size up and it's already like a positive ease sweater I'm not too worried about it fitting so that's where I am so far and we'll see how it goes I'll just keep checking in and and adding to this vlog and I really hope you enjoy it hello it is Monday night and yesterday Sunday I finished my second sleeve and this is what it looks like so far I've been working on the body a bit and I think I knitted past where I was supposed to start the ribbing but I think that might actually be okay I guess I gotta figure out how long I want this to be a lot of times I make like super oversized sweaters that are fairly long like cover most of my butt but I don't know if I want this sweater to be like that it is turned out to be I guess a little bit smaller than I expected but there's still like a fair amount of ease on both sides I don't know if you can really tell so I don't know I think it looks really nice and elegant so far I don't know if, how well you can see it honestly with this lighting and I don't know um the sleeves I guess are not super long I usually make my sleeves super long but I think you know having arm length sleeves is nice because it doesn't get everywhere it doesn't show past your winter coat when you wear it out and yeah I don't know maybe it's just like I wish the yoke was a little bit bigger but it looks pretty elegant fitted like this I'm not sure and maybe when I block it I was planning on blocking it to be maybe a little bit bigger but I don't know I don't know maybe I'll just finish it I have a fair amount of yarn left I think my puppy heard me I have a fair amount of yarn left and I actually did not wind up one hank uh, I think I will return that and just finish it off see what it looks like and then wear for New Year's and if I turn out to not really like this fit maybe I'll just 
unravel and do it again i try wearing a t-shirt underneath it a long sleeve because that's all i was gonna wear to bed and i think i just did not really like that long sleeve because i took it off and i think this sweater just like sits a lot better so yeah that is the practice for now i better go see what is up with benny I just finished blocking my sweater, so I kind of stretched it and unstretched it to the dimensions that I wanted. This is what it looks like right now, so it just needs to dry for another day, probably, or a day and a half. And today is Wednesday, so still have a lot of time till the new year. <laughs> 